back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take you back. Do, 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 do. Take you back. Well, I've been told by some people, and they all said to take you back. Do, 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 do. Take you back like before. Now, I don't call this a reason. I just call it believing in myself. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Take it back. And we'll push you back. Do, 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 do. You're pushing back. me too far. Do, 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 do. I love you for. Do, 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 do. What I saw before. Do, 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 do. I squeezed you and I held you. But I could not tell you. Good morning. You know, this story just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I think that people are having a hard time digesting. By the way, this is a uh, Fury versus Derek Chisora 2, where Tyson Fury was in the shape that he's in right about now and beat Derek Chisora left handed. People are having a hard time digesting that the fight with WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder of Sweet Home, Alabama versus the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, former IBF, WBO, WBA Super World and Ring Magazine champion. People don't want to believe that if Tyson Fury beats Francisco Pianetta on August the 18th, right now it's August the 7th, 2018, um, T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live, uh, 8.29 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The fight is supposed to take place in November. They say in November because Mikey Garcia and Earl Spencer fighting in December. So the date I've been hearing is November the 10th on Showtime pay-per-view in Las Vegas. Don't be surprised if, no, they're not going to do New York. It's definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Las Vegas. So you had Dominic Brazil WBC mandatory he did an interview this guy right here he did an interview with fight hype last night on the phone where he was talking about how he um he's not going to get his WBC title shot until after December of this year so for example Deontay Wilder's last mandatory because of WBC finagling his last mandatory was Bermain Stavern he fought him in November I was there he gets a whole year to fight as many voluntaries as he wants. But with the way things are set up right now, it's looking like we're going to have, if Tyson Fury wins on the 18th, we're going to have Wilder versus Fury in November, possibly a two-fight deal. You know, it's looking like it's going to be a two-fight deal. I don't know if it's a two-fight deal for both fighters if they're saying, like, listen, we're going to just milk the shit out of this. You know, fuck Anthony Joshua. Like, are they, you know, I, I, I really want to know the details because I guess we can't we can't wait until the details, um, the full details come out because they can't announce the fight until um, after Tyson Fury, uh, Francisco Pianetta. They can't announce the fight until then. So in regards to details of the contract and why it's not official yet and all that stuff, Tyson Fury's got to fight first. But all sides from um, Shelly Finkel to um, even Lou DiBella has spoken of it on Wilder's side. Wilder has spoken of it. Um, Tyson Fury has spoken of it many times. Frank Warren, the promoter of Tyson Fury at the moment. You know, Showtime, the fight is happening. You know, the number one contender, Dominic Brazil, who Wilder can only fight if he doesn't fight Tyson Fury, basically. Well, he can fight anybody he wants, technically. He don't have, I mean, unless they're ranked in the WBC, um, they have to be ranked in the WBC top 15. But, Brazil was trying to force the, the the issue. And yeah, they do have a little bit of bad blood from some shit that happened when Dominic Brazil was cheering on his homie Gerald Washington when Deontay Wilder knocked him out. So something happened with Deontay Wilder's team. I think it was his brother. I don't know exactly the full details. So it was on TMZ. And you can look around on YouTube to find the um, um, parts of the confrontation. But it started when... Um, Dominic Brazil was at ringside cheering on Gerald Washington. Gerald Washington, no disrespects, gets knocked the fuck out. And then there's some shit talking that goes back and forth between um, Dominic Brazil, who just so happens was with his family. 
and wildest team. So therefore, you know, some 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 shit went down, and you know, some bad blood. The blood, the, the, the blood is bad. But it's not enough to sell the fight. And with the option of Tyson Fury out there, they're not going to fight Dominic Brazil. Now, don't get don't, don't be a fool. Now, people. You know, the fallacy is, you know, or, or the narrative going around, let me dumb myself down, or the story is, is that I'm a Deontay Wilder hater, or I hate all black boxers. You know how long that's been going around? You know, you know how long people have been saying, you know, he hates on all fighters from Kazakhstan, man. He hates on all fighters from Congo. He hates on all fighters from Quebec. He hates on all fighters from China. He hates on all the Mexican fighters. He hates on all the Minty, the, the fighters from the Minty tribe. That's uh, uh, Ruslan Pavodnikov. You know, people had even a nerve to say he hates on all the Filipino fighters. Look when Donaire got knocked out by Walters. Of course, you're going to go with the black man because he eats, he eats oxtails. You'd be surprised the shit I've done heard. You know. My job is to call it like I see it. Like, I feel that if you're going to call yourself media, you have no business holding any alliances to anybody because of their skin color. Truth be told, if you look at the name of my channel, it was Tea Street Controversy. If somebody gets knocked the fuck out that's not supposed to get knocked the fuck out, that's hello, that's controversy, right? You know? I make my bones off of the, you know, the politics and talking about, you know, the fights and then on post fight. You know, when some crazy ass shit happens, I don't give a fuck if Deontay Wilder lose. I like him as a fighter. Do I want him to beat Deont um, Anthony Joshua? Yes. However, do I think that Anthony Joshua can beat him? Yes. Is it a 50 50 fight? Of course. You know, so I'm not going to keep addressing this. And as I and as I told you guys, I'm back now. For those who don't know, I'm going to tell you now I'm back now. So I'm very active in the comments. I will cuss you the fuck out, especially if you come in here talking some shit. You know, how y'all say it over in the UK? Chat shit, get banged. But my job is to cover the sport. Listen, like w when the time comes, if it does happen, because right now Wilder's got to get through Tyson Fury. I don't see it as Tyson Fury got to get through Wilder. Right now, I'm going to tell you right now, I got Tyson Fury beating Deontay Wilder. I think he's going to use that movement and box circles around him unless he gets a little lazy with the jab and Deontay Wilder fires that right hand because, you know, gypsies are, are, you know, supposed to have like rough chins and shit like that from the bare knuckles and the, you know, the backyard fights they be having growing up. And they just come from just a rough, you know, like the travelers come from like a rough background. Basically, they known as like. You know, I'm trying to figure out, man, fuck it. I'm not trying to be racially insensitive. I'm just going to say it. it they come from the hood. It's, 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 the, it's the Irish gypsy hood. You know? So they don't come from, you know, like silver spoons and shit like that. They do be having a street fight. So I hope that he don't get into, you know, I hope that he sticks to the game plan like he did with Klitschko and just move around that ring, even if it's a boring, nasty, you know, fight where people say, man, I can't believe I paid for that shit. Got to get that W. In regards to Deontay Wilder, you know, hey, you know, he can be losing every single fight. But one thing you don't want is you don't want that straight right hand down the pipe, especially when he start doing his uh, his uh, windmill, his windmill attack. You know, that's when that shit just starts getting you don't want to get hit. Let's go, let's go, let's go take a little, let's go take a little gander. Um, let's go, damn it, I spelled that wash night. I spelled that all fucked up. <laughs> wash night. You don't want to get, you don't, wait, let me do this, man. Let me do this, man. That's one thing you don't want, man. You don't want to get hit with this crazy ass out. It's crazy. You don't want these type of problems in your life. I'm sorry. Once that shit, I got to get some more memory. That's why that's be, that's why that's acting like that. Just a sharp right hand, right across the face of Gerald Washington, and that did it. Deontay Wilder, 38 and 0, 37 KO. Wait, did they they show the windmill attack? Oh, here it is, the windmill attack. This is where it came. To win <laughs> Look at his face. He don't know what the hell is about to come at him or what was going on. Actually, it's already ended. That's sheer terror. All right, you ready for the windmill attack? Griffin is getting closer. Washington is hit again. And he's Griffin oh. stopping this lead. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Oh. Big left hand. Mike Griffin is getting closer. 
You know what that remind me of? Like, if, like, you know how, like, you're playing a fighting game, like Street Fighter, and they have, like, a V-trigger or, like, a special move? Like, how can you overcome that? Poor old Bermain's Tavern. I guess we got to go look at him, too. Poor old Bermain's Tavern. <laughs> Once he gets into that, 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 that berserker, <laughs> Once he gets into that berserker frenzy, all he got to do is get you wobbled or stunned just a little bit. And once he once he gets into that phase, you can't overcome that shit. Um, oh, Wilder versus Tavern too. I don't think It's going to be hot, man. And y'all think I'm joking. I'm not joking. That's some serious shit right there. You've shown the work. <laughs> You've shown the work, right? Oh, my. Burn goes down in round one. With the Skinny legs and all. But this one, this is when he goes berserker. And he's charging up. You're going to see him. He's charging up. It's coming. Well, you can't say it's coming from the core. But it's, just, it's charging up. 18 of wild <laughs> this video wasn't supposed to turn out like this. But this shit is hilarious. Should we do it in slow? Nah, let's play it in full, full speed. See, that's more defined. That, that's like a turbine. The turbine is you ever play D GTA online and you're racing and you got to like go over the motherfucking thing and you fly through the, you know, the turbine. It's that big ass windmill. You know, let's look it up. See, that's not like this. That's not the Gerald Washington. Oh, we'll do it right now. There it is. Just a sharp right hand right across the face of Gerald Washington, and that did it. Deontay Wilder, 38-0, 37 KOs. I'm sorry. You don't want those problems in your life. Hold on. Hold on. It's over now. I just look at it like this. Please, Tyson Fury. You know, people are not going to give him his credit because they're going to say, well, you know, Deontay Wilder finally stepped up in competition and didn't fight fucking 68 year old Larry Holmes. And he fight a young fighter in his prime and he lose in regards to if Wilder beat Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury just returned off of a two and a half year layoff. He fought this guy, which was a horrible, horrible fight, by the way. But nonetheless, it was a comeback fight. Kind of. You can't really judge him for it. Then um, he's fighting two months later on August the 18th and then in December against Wilder. If he wins, you know, that's going to be a storybook for him. But, you know, it's a shame that people are looking at this fight like, man, you know, they're, they're just making up shit. Right now, even Eddie Hearn can't believe that the fight's happening. So, for example, on that end of things, if... Let's say Anthony Joshua beats Alexander Povetkin. Then he's going to have to fight Dylan White, right? That limits the options for him in regards to being able to sell that Wembley date. Dylan White wants a number, another fight in December or so. What, what if he loses? I'm sure Eddie Hearn probably is in his ear and like, yo, we, you know, you should sit out until April or so. But I'm thinking that everybody's waiting to hear what the details are of this uh, Wilder versus Fury deal. You know? Um, we're going to actually be covering the Matchroom USA card, it looks like, October the 20th. I'm going to work on getting somebody to um, the fight week event for Joshua versus um, 
uh, Pavekin. You know, I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So it's taking some time. Like I had to get the channel back on track. Then we're going to start getting, you know, two events. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a New York press conference for Wilder versus uh, Fury when it does ha when it does get announced. Probably in, you know, they're probably going to do a little press tour. And I'm wondering, you know, if the if it's a two fight rematch clause, whether who went depending on who wins or loses. Will the second fight be in the UK? So, for example, let's say if Tyson Fury loses, is there still a rematch clause for them to do a second fight and they do it in the UK? You know, so I don't know. But poor old Dominic Brazil looking like he's not going to be getting his WBC title shot for eternity because let's say if Wilder does beat Tyson Fury, then, you know, he's going to definitely push for the fight with um anthony joshua and he'll be able to get a bigger split of money not that much of it. I mean, it'll be a, it'll be it should be a bigger split and um then dominic brazil will likely have to take step aside money and fight on the undercard but see dominic brazil probably looking at it like damn you know i got all this time and he don't want to take a fight because if he loses he loses his mandatory spot so he's got to be real careful with the fights he picks you see what i'm saying so it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, but everything is kind of, you know, on hold until, you know, next Saturday. The fight is going to be on um, August the 18th. Um, I don't know if Showtime is picking it up or is it going to be on ESPN Plus, meaning uh, Tyson Fury versus uh, Francisco uh, Pianetta. Also, Deontay Wilder was invited to join. It's going to be over in uh, Belfast, over in Ireland. It's going to be Carl Frampton versus uh, Luke Jackson as the main event, and Tyson Fury versus uh, Pianetta. But obviously, the Tyson Fury fight has overshadowed the Frampton fight in regards to the uh, Wilder news. So, in fact, are we going? I got to talk to Mikey. Are we going to that fight? Hmm. I got some work to do. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live with a link to my social media right down below. You should uh, follow my Twitter. Everything I talk about, you know, I make sure I put on my Twitter. I retweet it, you know, make sure I'm sharing it around so people know where I'm getting a lot of this shit from. Please subscribe. I cover every single major fight literally now. As you can see, look around the channel. We're going to be here after every single major fight. And we're working on getting back to events now that I'm fully healed up. You see this nifty scar on my neck? It still be itching, but, you know, we, we, we healed up.